from their eyes to their noses and senses we can't truly know about. Join me as we discover eight animal super senses that they have that humans don't. Number eight, ears that can smell. When it comes to dogs, there are several things that it has naturally that dwarfs what humans have naturally. But for the Basset Hound, they take it to the next level by bringing its ears into the mix. And no, I don't mean just them having better hearing. They can actually do something far more interesting with their ear canals. Mainly, they can smell with them. No, I'm not making this up. They can really do this. First, the ears will catch the scent of whatever they're trying to track. Then, they'll rub their ears on the ground to further catch it, and then flick their ears up into the air with the sole purpose of ensuring that their nose can catch it and then never lose it, which makes them an excellent tracker dog, among other things, of course. This may seem like a little backwards, as most dogs, including a certain breed that I'll be talking about later, track with very powerful noses. So why do the Basset Hounds do it with their ears? It mainly has to do with the fact that they have the longest ears of any dog breed, which makes them even more equipped to catch scents and send them up to their noses. This kind of dual-powered smelling is very unique in the animal world, and definitely unique in the dog world. Personally, I'm okay with a dog having this and not a human, because that must feel weird. 7 heat detection. For the record, I'm not talking about an animal knowing that it's hot. I'm going well beyond that here as you'll see. Snakes as a species are already known for their very refined senses, such as detecting scents with their tongues, a very useful skill to have. However, in the case of the pit viper and a few other snake species like certain pythons and boas, they can go beyond that. Their skin and nerves are so refined that they're actually able to detect the very heat given off by an animal. Confused? Don't worry, I'll explain. Think about it like how when you are cold and you touch someone who is warm, you feel that heat that they have, which is actually why you are advised to stay close to one another in cold situations. But now, I want you to imagine being able to sense that heat even though the person is several feet away from you. That kind of heat detection is what snakes like the pit viper can do. So, how does this work exactly? It happens with pit organs that are on the snake's face. These pits actually let the snake detect thermal radiation. That's right, they can sense radiation. And you thought snakes were scary before, huh? The organ then sends the information to the nerves in the brain, and thus, the snake can touch the heat of other animals guiding them either to prey or away from foes. The ironic thing here, humans technically have this ability, but obviously it's nowhere near the power of these pit vipers. Number 6. Precognition The future, something that everyone has in one way and yet doesn't have it another. Something that every person alive desperately wants to know about and yet are afraid to see. In the history of our world, there are many who have said that they have the ability to see into the future. Apparently, so do dogs. But how many actually do have this ability is unclear. But it is put forth that many have a form of it. But of course, like most superpowers, there must be attributes to be defined. We're not saying that dogs have the ability to know the future, but mainly sense what might come. A lot of people have noted that their dogs can sense danger long before it comes in range. Many have attributed this to their heightened sense of hearing and smell, and yet there are times when no such indicators have been detectable and yet the dog would sense danger. An example was unintentionally shown during an episode of Mythbusters. Host Jamie Heineman had a dog named Zero who detected danger in a small-scale experiment and made sure it wasn't in the area when it indeed did go wrong. Another form of precognition dogs are said to have is when they can detect when an owner is going to come home. Again, without clues like sight, sound, or smell. There was even a study done to show that they could indeed predict when the owner was coming home. So yeah, dogs can sense the future in a way which may be why they can be such good pets, as they can help their owners know if trouble is coming. 
Or, as Game of Thrones would say, winter is coming. I'm just saying, they had dogs in that show. 5. People Tracking Blood Detection Insects are annoying, and few of them are as annoying as the mosquito, because no matter where you go, they'll get to you. But that raises a great question. Have you ever wondered why a mosquito is always able to find you? It does seem oddly persistent for such a small creature. The answer is their superpower detection. Like many insects, mosquitoes have very heightened senses, to the extent that they can sense a person when they're over 100 feet away from them. And because of how heightened their senses are, they actually know when to strike you in order to get your blood. And they even know what blood type you are. No, really, they can know your blood type even though they're not touching you. Creepy, huh? Oh, but that's not the only creepy part here. You see, the reason that they bite you is because they want your specific blood type, as they feel that the blood you have within you is the most tasty. Even if a mosquito finds a large group of people, they'll use their heightened senses to see which blood is the most appealing to them and then go right for the person. An important note, mosquitoes at max are about one inch in length and oftentimes much less, so to sense a person 100 feet away with such accuracy is truly impressive and again, very creepy. So when a mosquito comes your way, do the humane thing and swat them dead. 4. Camouflage While not a sense per se, it most definitely has to be an interesting sensation when an animal blends into its surrounding environment. I mean, think about it. The animal goes from their basic skin color to something that is entirely a different shade in order to avoid all of its predators. That's not something that just any creature can do, you know. What's interesting, though, is that camouflage is something that many animals can do in varying cases. The most obvious one is the chameleon, which is what the camouflage ability is named after to an extent, as well as most associated with. However, there are insects and other animals that can do it too. Some are even born with the camouflage on their skin so that they can blend into things like trees, leaves, and certain flowers. And you almost have to wonder, what does it feel like to blend into nature like that? You know that humanity is curious about it because we have created our own kind of ammo when it comes to things like camo wear that hunters use or the ghillie suit that is used by special forces to blend in. Could you imagine being able to do that on a whim? That would be something cool for sure. 3. Super Smell Smell is a very interesting sense. Because when you come home and you can smell a home-cooked meal, you're in heaven. But when you're on the road and you or someone else has run over a skunk, not so much. But as good as our noses are, we have nothing compared to the dogs of our world. As a species, dogs have infinitely better noses than we do. But only one is used as the quintessential tracker dog, and that's the bloodhound. These canines have some of the best noses in the business, literally, and once they get onto a scent, it's very, very hard to get them off of it. If you don't believe me, believe the Mythbusters. They did two whole episodes trying to figure out ways to trick the Bloodhound and only had very small success based solely on the training of the dog and not the power of its nose. So yeah, it's very hard to beat. The reason for this is that the bloodhound and other dog species have hundreds or sometimes thousands of more nose receptors than humans. That's a lot of power in the nose, and that allows them to not just find a scent, but be able to track where it came from with ease. So to put that in context of a human, that'd be like being able to smell a home-cooked dinner from a few doors down the street. Makes me glad our noses aren't that refined just yet. 2. Super Taste Dipping into the really weird, the catfish may be a great catch in terms of fishermen, but it also has one of the weirdest super senses in the world, mainly in its sense of taste. What do I mean by that? Well, just the mouth, a human has about 10,000 taste receptors, but the catfish doesn't just have these in the mouth, they actually have them all over its body. Apparently, 
Up to 250,000 taste receptors are all over the catfish. Do you know what this means? It's a living tongue that tastes just about everything that touches it. Bet you never want to pet a catfish now, huh? What possible use for this super sense is there? Simple, because the catfish can taste the ocean. It can sense where everything is, especially its prey. Those antennae that it has on its face are one of the main areas that has its body taste receptors, and so when it tastes something, it'll go and send the signals to the brain and guide it to where the catfish has to go. This is another sense that I'm glad humans don't have, because the last thing I need is my feet tasting my shoes, the ground, the carpet, and so on. The catfish can have this special sense. Number 1 electric connection. When it comes to bees, there are many different senses that they have that define their entire lives, like how they can use dance moves to communicate, which I know some people would love to do, and how they use their bodies to carry pollen and the like. But their most unique sense that humans don't have has to do with electricity, mainly the charge that they build up when they're flying. Have you ever wondered why a bee can find a flower that sometimes is very far away from the hive? It's because of their senses, including one that has them conducting a positive charge as they fly through the air. The flowers that they pollinate and get nectar from continue a negative charge via their mere existence, and as the song goes, opposites attract. So, as they fly through the air, they sense the negative charge that the flowers are giving off and thus go to them and do their business. But they don't stop there. Once they're done getting what they need, they change the charge of the flower so that it's positive. This serves as a signal to its hive that this flower and this area, depending on the swarm size, has been pollinated and thus they can move on to a new area. It's truly fascinating how well this works, and as we all know, it's not their senses that are getting bees killed, it's actually what's keeping them alive. Thanks for watching everyone! What did you think about these special or enhanced senses of these animals? Which one do you think is the coolest? Which one do you think is the most disgusting? Do you know about super senses that animals sometimes have that humans don't? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel!